Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial and for this tutorial I want to use the Arteza brush pen and the Arteza chalk markers and as you can see I have been drawing on stones so I made a uh, little hedgehog uh, a little mouse and all you need to do is find some nice stones that, um, well, that you like and if you do not like the color of that stone, of course, you can uh, get an underlayer in that, uh, in any color you want. So, for instance, I wanted to make this uh, stone white. Then I simply take that chalk marker and I put an underlayer of white on it. Simple as that. Then this is the Artisa brush pen and I'm going to use that to uh, make a sketch, if you like, of a little ladybug. Now I simply love ladybugs and I wanted to make this as cute as possible. So here I'm drawing in a big nose and a smiley mouth. Then just above that nose, of course, there come two big lovely eyes. And he's looking at us. He or she, I'm not sure. Then on top, I put in the wings and of course the black dots. Now people say that you can actually see how old a ladybug is by counting the dots. So I guess I want to make this little one an eight year old. So I draw in eight dots and of course the face itself is all black so what I do is I put a line around the mouth and then I start coloring in all of the face in black but I carefully draw around the eyes and the mouth I also put in a little bit of black on his butt then I take the red chalk marker and then I carefully color in all of those shields around those black dots I do color around it because these are uh, water based chalk markers and they blend a little bit so carefully go around the black dots and then you can see that here I am creating actually a lovely little ladybug. So then of course you can put in a little bit more extra detail. Now and then you need to rest the chalk a little bit so uh, you uh, well, can let it dry a little bit and then I put in extra white for the eyes because I really want those eyes to pop out and here you can actually see how they blend together a little bit so you can draw in a little bit of shine on the nose and on the wings if you want it is awesome to see how nice the colors blend together. Then of course I also want to draw in those tentacles that are on top of the head. I take the white chalk marker, I've pointed out with the little pencil where they are going to be and then I let it rest again. I draw in a little bit of a black line just next to those tentacles and then I let it rest again and let it dry. I simply go over and over with the white chalk mark uh, to make those little tentacles on top of the head whiter and whiter as the chalk is drying. Just look how lovely this little ladybug is looking at us. 
I love them. Now the Arteza chalk markers inside of the box there are also uh, some stickers and also what is very neat is that you can replace the tips and those tips can be uh, rounded or pointed or even have a little bit uh, um, like diagonal tips and then you can use it for instance for a little bit of hand lettering on this uh, sticker I put ladybug and you can use them also um, well for uh, labeling something that you like and you can write upon those labels uh, in the meantime time the, the chalk is drying so I'm putting in the last layer here so now my ladybug is finished and they have all kinds of little helper things that you can also uh, use. They even have uh, numbers and different kinds of labels, small labels, bigger labels. <coughs> so I think that is really, really neat. There are a lot of spare parts. So if your tip is uh, getting a little bit more ugly, then just replace them. So here I'm signing my name. My name is Lineke, but you can just call me Lynn. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you again in the next tutorial.